And you can see the camera car over there. <laughs> Hi guys, thanks for joining this video and as you can hear with this gorgeous accent, I'm French, obviously. So here we go, let's put the video on the timeline. What I will do is to mute the sound because you know sound will do in post. Here I prefer to show you footage, it's better to explain. So the whole video is during uh, 11 minutes, so when you do uh, 14 seconds or something like that teaser, it's called a bumper and uh, it catch the eye what, what, what is going to happen, you know. There is a lot of easy tricks you can do. So I will just passing by the blah blah thing because it's quite easy with the stock footage, I think so. In the street, you can see the Wall Street Station. I love that type of shot. Handled, moody, guys, uh, just use promise filters or as you can see, the white lights are a bit diffuse. On the smoke. I love this effect. It's not too much, not too vintage. That's why I think it's a vintage lens. And then, boom, you have a GoPro POV shot of the helmet. And I love this type of position because you have your eye on the on the tire protection. So you are you, you have your eye in, in the center of the, of the image, a bit on the left. And then just after, you have the Red Bull Racing tag and just the, the helmet uh, crossing from the, from the top to the down. It's a good transition, easy to do, and always impressive to watch. So then you have the pilot and the helicopter discussing. I think it's post-produced. This, this type of flight is very complicated to do this uh, in real. And just after, we will see the car going fast in the, in the street. In this film, you have a lot of uh, out of focus things and um, it reminds me a lot Jim Canna style of video and shout out to Brian the director of it's quite interesting sometimes to have a frame in a frame or to keep the attention or on small details for example the sidewalk over there blurry and with uh, with sound effects so yeah you have an ellipse and the sun is rising and just here, I think it's a crash zoom, or even if it's in post, it's well done because it's a linear one. You, you know, we can try a bit on Premiere on the size. In French, it's called Echelle. Panel, you have two types of transition, you know. You can do a linear curve or a Bezier curve, and the Bezier one is getting you the not the real result it's it's too perfect you know because the curves are doing that way a wave it's smooth but the linear one is from uh, 50 millimeters to boom 80 millim millimeters without any smooth so that's why i'm not sure if it's in post or in real but anyway Obviously, the car is going just on the perfect frame, just right now. And because on set, I think it's very complicated for the operator to do that and just stop and then the car passing. I think this shot is uh, in one take and then cut another take. It's a very easy trick, but uh, you can do this in your own video and then an ellipse and you are in the morning. As you can see, there is a long focal here, maybe uh, over 100 millimeters, and then just after, look at that, boom, very, very wide, very, very, very wide, uh, big aerial shot, and it adds drama in your editing to do this type of, uh, of cut. A close up, long focal, and then just after, boom, very wide. Footage. POV footage, and then ultra slow-mo footage, Komodo, Monstro. Uh, it's quite awesome to, to match uh, all these type of shots in uh, just one video. There is a lot of happenings, that's why, for example, this guy. And then look at that, this, the water coming by. And you can see the camera car over there. <laughs> I love the color grading as well. 
very nice one. I love that frame, a frame in a frame. I use this technique a lot of my films. For example, on the Alpine Zurich set, I just put a chair with some holes in it. b rolls of birds. I think it's actors just after. Guy, for example, this type of shot of uh, wrist POV shot, it's very easy to do. So, so, that's why I, I, I just love this type of, uh, of video who are matching a big budget camera and then just after trash GoPro. And just keep your attention on the waveform. So uh, as, you, uh, as you can see, there is a lot of sound around here. Uh, ambient of the city, ambient of the shop, uh, speedy things, and uh, yeah, the, the city very loud. And then just after, you will be at the headquarters with the bus, and then boom, wide angle. Just show where, where we are. By the way, there is a Formula One here. But yeah, no sound, very quiet. And as you can see, just after, with this one, this girl is just speaking very loud to the boss to don't disturb it. And it's very calm, very quiet. But uh, yeah, uh, every time you will see the boss in this video, see it's very quiet, static shot, maybe tripod or something like that to just add some respect and mark the contrast between the, the driver and the, and the boss. For example, just with the waveform, as I can see, the, the, the New York City part is coming over there. This sequence was shot, I think, months ago because I saw YouTube video on it, because there is a lot of guys filming. close-ups, you have this little movement of rising and then epic shots. I love car rigging shots. And oh yeah, I just put this one. Th this one is very interesting. Th this type of shot, obviously the street was blocked uh, because there is nobody, there is uh, the two yellow cars who are uh, Actor, act, actors, vehicles, of course, this is a big budget production. And then maybe it's a production car or something like that, just passing in front of the camera. It's very interesting, simple, but it works. So then the cab driver, and then boom, crane shot, POV, a classic pan. And I love this film too, because there is a lot of DNA of Red Bull, for the culture of skateboarding or action sport with that type of uh, big fisheye with a vignette on it. I love that. That's the, the reference to the old school fisheye lens from skateboarding, I love that. So it's a lot of different cameras in this film. FPV, classic drones, camera car, boom, crash zoom. This one is in onset. You can do this type of zoom in post. It adds so much speed and so much strength. And then, boom, waveform, very quiet. The boss is here. And then, big ellipse. So shout out to, to Johnny FPV who made all the FPV shots. For example, just after we, you will see uh, this, this shot, it's very basic. You know, just buy a stick on Amazon and a GoPro, and you can do that. My dude, uh, Chris Ray Films, love to do that type of shot. Shout out to, to him. Same axis. That's quite nice. This shot is so easy to do because you do one take with a car coming by and then another take with a guy coming by and you just match. Oh wow. And for example, this shot made by Johnny FPV, man. We never see any anybody on the water in this, in this shot. 
another shot, we can't see the Formula One. Never, never ever. This one too. You, we, we see the Formula One, but not the, the athlete. POV shot, POV. we can pass a bit because it's a standard champ contre champ, we say in French. Here, Jim Cana sings, people, and the car passing by, and then a lot of GoPro shot, GoPro, 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 fast edit. Because it's not too interesting, this action, B-rolls. Jim Cana sing. Well, I love to do that type of shot. For example, on the Alpine advert. Shot uh, the reflection, the mirror in Zurich. Because a frame in a frame again, it adds drama, it adds information. And then, yeah, we can go over because it's quite basic on the filming part. I love the lights, the flares on the Miami race track part. A frame in a frame and again. And then that's very interesting. This shot and those following are very, very interesting because very long lens, the car passing through objects. We will see they, they use a lot of this trick. You know, for example, in the paint all video I love, and it's a common trick to just add speed and add uh, drama and to, to just have objects between your camera and the subjects. Incredible FPV shots. And this one, I love this one. With the plots, the camera car is going on the opposite way of the Formula One and the plot were of course standing here for a reason to add this whoosh, 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 effects and then to the right again so it's, so yeah very nice transition by the editor or storyboarded and something very graphic we saw lines just after and, and then other lines all the codes of action sport and then just after we see, I think it's Ash Woodward. And then just after Jamie Foy, you, you can see the, the car passing again on the background. Loved it. By the way, shout out to Jamie Foy, just one Tampa Pro. And then again, something very straight with uh, tripods, very quiet for the boss to impose respect. All screens are green screen or black screen, possibly said. Of course, the walker on the grass. Cool one, by the way. Did that err. And then, keep your attention on the, on the horizon. For example, when you will see the boss, tripod, you know, military type of things. And just after, they shoot that way. For example, as you can see, there is no horizon at all. It's tilt as fuck. And then just after, very straight tripods. So yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoy this video and sorry about my fucking French accent. You know, I'm working hard on it. So yeah, please comment below, subscribe, push the thumb up button, please subscribe to our Instagram account as well. And uh, yeah, please uh, tell me what you want uh, for the next video, what we can improve or if we, we can go deeper or not. And uh, yeah, please comment below and uh, let's keep in touch. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks.